All right, here we are. Greg Hollenbach, Devaney McNeil. The Colorado Restaurant and Bar Show. This is exciting, Devaney. You're going to show us around. I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you all the cool things we have here and all the people that love working with restaurants. So here's the theme of today's video. The theme is, tell us about your business in 60 seconds. Ooh, I could, that's a lot of time even, I think. I think it yeah. is, but we're gonna start with you, Dev. Oh. Tell us about the Colorado Restaurant ah. Association in 60 seconds. Colorado Restaurant Association is the, really the, we're the champions for the hospitality industry in Colorado, hands down. We lobby, that's really what we do, is we lobby for the rights of restaurants. We fight for, legislation that's going to be beneficial to restaurants and sometimes small businesses in general. We lobby against those that aren't and we also introduce legislation and it's often brought to us by members like we need this, you guys need to do this and we're like okay. So we don't do what we want to do, we do what our members want us to do which are Colorado's restaurants and mostly we're about 85 independent restaurants in Colorado. And um, we also have, because we've you know, been around since 1933 when Prohibition ended, we, um, we've also partnered with a lot of people that give a lot of discounts to restaurants and do other good things for restaurants. So I don't know where I'm at with that 60 seconds, You're right but I'm on the feeling dot. like it's there. That was perfect. Okay, yeah. great communicators, great lobbyists. Let's go talk to one of our great supporters. And they're also connecting community. And one of the yep. parts of this community, we call him the mayor, Dev. Oh, the mayor, I like that. <laughs> I mean, that's Little Rich Schneider. That and he's here funny. with his daughter as well. Oh, I love Raven. So Little Rich Schneider. and I'm I love myself some Raven. Right here. Gotta grab some and water. Get going. Going. Well, you better do it because we're no, about to yeah, talk I'm to you, sir. Off. Okay. So, Little Rich, here we are. You're not going anywhere. I'm going to give you a microphone. Water. Okay. Hey. Everybody hey. knows the mayor. It's Little Rich Schneider. Devaney and I are walking around today's video. What the theme is? You want to know what it is? What is it, Greg? What? Tell me. Tell us about your business in 60 seconds. Do I do I need even full 60 seconds? I know. Oh, no, let's see. Here's, here, my business Go. is to make amazing locally sourced products that inspire not just the diners, but the chefs that make them, that use them. That's what we do, and honestly, I think we do it better than anyone else. You do it the That's best. That's what we do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, a little bit more of that. You know, you'd think, okay, Little Rich, you have a great boutique tortilla business, right? Yep. Where are all the tortillas today? I didn't bring any. I didn't really come here. Wait, are there so, golden tickets, Rich? I, I, there are golden tickets, but that's, that's what I was doing. I didn't want to give samples and necessarily sell product. I wanted to come here and start forging relationships, yes. especially after the two years that we haven't been able to do this. Yes. I felt it was more important to forge relationships yes. than sell another tortilla. But what about people who want to come but down and see the shop? People who want to shop. come down, I've got the golden tortilla <laughs> ticket. That's where the magic happens. And we've, we've given out almost 21 of these babies, so they come down for a tortilla tour and a taco. Innovation at its finest. He is a community leader, and that's really Absolutely. what it's all about. When you see the backdrop for Rich and Rockalita's tortillas, he gives you an idea how to get a hold of his website, his contact information, connecting not only your business but connecting others as yes. well. Rich that is hyper local and hyper connector, and his daughter Raven is right there, who works for which bank, Raven? U.S. Bank. <laughs> U.S. Bank. In case you couldn't hear it. Richie, thank you. How can people learn more about Rockalita's? Go to themoderneater.com. There's a link to our website right on Greg's site. That's right. That's, Thank you that's so how much. you get there. All right, Rich, you're the best. Love you. The, you are, brother. The jacket's great. All right, Dev, where are you going to lead us okay, to next? Okay, I think we go, we go. Thanks, Richie. this way. I think Lippy's caddy, don't you? So that's the excitement. When you talk to people like Little Rich, you go, oh my God, what a great business and industry that we I are. say RJ. Yes. Lippert from Lippy's Caddy. Lippy's Caddy, welcome, yes. Here you go. Thank you very much. So and that's Arch Harry right there. He's awesome. I've been talking to Harry all day. Yes. That's What's happening, great. Harry? All right, we're moving quick, guys, yes. right? I mean, business and, and the way that yeah. you need to maneuver in this world, you got to go quick, but you also have to have that elevator speech that's about right. your business. Okay, tag team it. 60 okay. seconds. Talk about your business. You got go. It, got it. Welcome to Lippy's Caddy. Lippy's Beverage Caddy. It's a eight drink holder. Uh, made of the uh, made in the USA, and it's uh, yeah. washable, handles removable, um, easy to stack and store in any restaurant or patio. Easy to carry. Easy to carry. Right. Let me make sure. And none of this, yeah. but all of this. Where does carpal exactly. syndrome syndrome happen? That's carpal right. tunnel right. syndrome. That's right. I love okay. it. Okay, so every innovation comes with a need. Where did you see the need? Yes. Well, I saw the need when I was carrying a 
carrying all the drinks in a bus. Yeah. And when I, you carry uh, drinks to the bus, it holds 52 people, and you're spilling all the drinks, you know you need to do something. Oh, yeah. 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 They're not designed this. Nothing more that's, sad. That's where you came up with it on the bus. So now, so, ooh, ooh, ooh. Exactly. that's right. Ooh, ooh. That's exactly. I mean, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's perfect. You don't spill it, Deb. Because Deb, you and I both know you don't want to spill your drink. No, don't that's spill right. the drink. It's wasteful. It's a party fun. It's, I think that's one alcohol. of the seven deadly sins. I believe. No, I can hold it. No. <laughs> Okay, guys, great job. Tell us how people can learn more. Yes, to learn more, you can see us on our website at lippiescaddy.com. L-I-P-P-Y-S-C-A-D-D-Y.com. I love it. You guys rock. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank you, you bet. Yes. Oh, really? Colorado Restaurant and Bar Show is fabulous every single year. Now, Deb, you weren't able to Hi, do Bruce. this last year, were you? We were not able to do this last year. The year before, we did it all educational seminars. Um, Hi, Chow. We're here with the Modern Eater, and we wanted to hear a little bit more about what you do. Who wants to talk? I think I know who wants to talk. Well, you got to talk about you. your thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is about you, not Modern I Eater. Know, but Okay, Aaron, here's what we're doing. We're walking around the, the room here, and there's a lot of great businesses, right? We thought, let's go right over here to Chow, and our theme is tell us about your business in 60 seconds. Can you do it? I can do it. Let's do it. Aaron, go ahead. All right, I'm Aaron. I'm the executive director of Chow, and Chow gets mental health and recovery resources to folks in the hospitality industry at no cost. Wow. I know. And how many people need that, do you think, Aaron? Just about everybody. Yeah, yes, all of us. Exactly. All yes. of us. Am I we, anyone? Can I say everybody? I think everybody covers it. And, and at the Colorado Restaurant Association, when we have people reach out to us about mental health, anything, we have this amazing place to send them. And Aaron has done amazing things Great. with Chow, and it just makes everybody happier. I think that's the goal. What does Chow stand for? Chow, Culinary Hospitality Outreach and Wellness which they really do. Here's the thing, call to action, and I'll just do the call to action because I'm one that needs to do that as well. They're looking for inspiring people to come and speak for Chow. And it's, it's share your story. And people are, it's so relatable. Your story is gonna be relatable to the next person, but at the end of the day, it's helpful. It's community and it's being able to talk through something that might be a lonely thought in your own head. Don't do that, get a hold of Chow, right? Right. Exactly. I'd be remiss not to introduce Zach from Kessel Wellness, who is our partner that offers um, affordable and free therapy to folks in the hospitality industry. Love it. I'll be a hold of you quick. Love it. <laughs> I'll be we getting a hold of you quickly. We had Melinda yesterday at the Ask the Expert, which was wonderful. Yep. How do people get a hold of you, Aaron? Uh, you can go to our website, chowco.org, or you can reach us at outreach at chowco.org. Outreach at chowco.org. I owe a talk. I'll do it with Chow. Thanks. Thank you, Here's my do. commitment to you right now. Thank I'll be you. doing a talk. Thanks, Aaron. How's it going, Lee? Doing great. How are you? Good. Take this microphone off my hands. All right. All right. Shamrock Foods. What we're doing, here's the theme of it. It's going to be real easy. This is right in your wheelhouse. Tell us about your business in 60 seconds. 60 seconds? Yeah, you got well, this. Well, we're, we're a food service distributor. We distribute uh, anything from meats to specialty items. Uh, we also have our kitchen intelligence, which in a nutshell is all of our consulting. Uh, we have fantastic consultants. We have Jim Hargrove and Tim Manis. Um, and we also have a fantastic sales team that does lots of restaurant consulting. So. If that's 60 seconds, I think it's I... It's good. Can I add to it? Absolutely. Yeah. Here's what, I mean, honestly, Shamrock, working with farmers and ranchers, um, bringing the food from the, the source that came from into our communities, doing such a great job with that. But not only that, our local product purveyors, being able to have a distribution line with such a quality brand like Shamrock is bar none. It's the best of the best, top quality, top notch, top of the shop in the business. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Appreciate Thanks, Shamrock. That was easy, right? Thanks, Lee. That's all right. Thank cool. Oh my God, you were Thank awesome. You. We're like, we got to. And uh, so when we're showing, so like, you'll be around all the products. And it stuff was great, Kyle. Yeah, awesome. Okay, where's next, Deb? All right. Okay, we did Lippies. Let's go this way. Let's go to PF right, Performance you, Food Service. There is a lot of ground to cover, a lot of friends here. Well, I think we know where we need to go. 
You ready to yes, talk about indeed. your business? Why don't we do 30 seconds? 60 seconds might be too long. Ah, okay. See, okay. It turns out 30 seconds. I'm not nervous. All right. Hang oh on. my God. Never no. nervous. I'm handing I'm her not microphone. Nervous, you're not She's nervous. no stranger to it. I'll tell you what. You talk about other community leaders. We just saw Little Rich, and we're going over to Rebecca Berry right now. Rebecca Berry offers a lot of. I don't know, what would you say, Rebecca? Um, methods of people to connect and gain knowledge about the industry and how to help streamline their yeah, businesses as well? Absolutely. Okay, here's the thing. Tell us about your business in 60 seconds. Go, Rebecca. Awesome. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Devaney. So we streamline processes for everything from onboarding, HR solutions, payroll, benefits. Right now, we know that employees are screaming for benefits. They want to have an engaging culture. So we want to take those mundane tasks off of your HR people so they can engage with your employees to continue to scale, keep happy employees. All the while, we're going to offer benefits and contain your costs and mitigate your risks. So call us at Oasis and my number is 720-436-8047. It's Rebecca Berry. Oh my God! Rebecca I think Berry, who might have been big... right on the dot. Yes, Rebecca. our local advocate for all things restaurant. Totally She's perfect. the best. Thanks, Tell us guys. about the restaurant dog, though. Oh, you guys follow Ace the Restaurant Dog on Instagram. He is a huge, huge restaurant industry advocate and patio supporter. He also supports all small business, so he likes to keep things local. And we'd love to have him on your patio. So check him out. He's an 18-month-old lab, and he's just precious and super well behaved. So he'll bring in the guests. What's his oh. Instagram again? Ace the Restaurant Dog. Ace the Restaurant Ace Dog. The restaurant check dog. it out, I love and Rebecca it. Berry. She's the best. Tell us how to get a hold of your business. So you can get a hold of me at R D Berry at oasispeo.com. You can find me at restaurant underscore, D, or, I'm sorry, Denver underscore restaurant underscore diva on Instagram and Facebook. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Rebecca. That was perfect. All right, as you can love see, it. there's a lot of people that love to talk about their business. Rebecca is one of those people. I think we'd be remiss if we didn't talk to well, Tater Cakes. That cake. We want to talk to Tater Cakes. That and I'm hungry. Get right up in on these taters. Alrighty. I'm handy. Hey, Your name's Mark. Right Take this microphone, okay. Mark. Yep. Okay. Here's the theme of what we're doing. I'm Greg with the Modern Eater. You you know Devaney with the Colorado restaurant. Well, I've had your tater cakes. Whether you know me or not, I love your yep. taters. Here's what we're doing. Tell us about your business in 60 seconds. Go. Tater cakes started back in 2016. They're fast, one of the fastest growing appetizers in the country. Um, it's, a, it's a giant tater keg. Looks like this. Stuffed with bacon, cheddar, chive. Well, what did you tell me about it? It's what a tater tot wants to it's be what, when it grows up. I can't use that one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it, it is. It's a tater tot. Whatever tater tot wants to be when it grows up. Yep. And um, they consume me. You're no, doing it's great. Fine. Keep going. It oh, keep yeah. Yeah. So it started off at first when we invented this. We started making it by hand. Took it down to the Chicago restaurant show, and um, we couldn't find any distributors. Couldn't find any any um, um, brokers to be able to represent our product. Took a van for nine months. Drove around the country with two freezers in the back, and now tater kegs are the next big thing. Love it. I'm I, give I can, you another can, 60 seconds so I can have another one. They're yeah, delicious. No, I can, I can attest to that they're freaking fantastic. Thanks, Mark. That they're was delicious. great. Good job. All right. Go. Benny Keith, since they're kind of new to the state. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to meet these guys. All right. So new to Colorado. Ish, ish. ish new ish yeah. to Colorado. Yeah. And is, what a great Is there anyone here that wants have. to talk about Benny Keith to Modern Eater? Uh, 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Well, you're all handsome, your so we can't I know, you guys here. are all good looking. Uh, this guy, he's been handling a lot of I know, you look really happy, speaker. Mark. It's Marcus. So, it's so funny at a networking this event where chance. everybody's used to talking about their business. I mean, you're here to promote your business. Cream, so like, you got it. No, it's him. You got it. <laughs> oh my goodness, live, live oh at its God, finest right now. Yes, let's go. Okay, we're, here's the theme of what we're doing. Grab that microphone. What's your name? Ethan Williams. Ethan, no problem. You got this. Here's the theme of what we're doing. We're walking around talking about all of these great companies here. Tell us about your business in 60 seconds. Uh, Benny Keith Foods, we were founded in Texas in 1906 as a produce company. Um, since then we've become a broadliner that's in 14 states in the south. We're a family owned company, debt free. Um, I was a customer for 10 years, now I'm on this side. We're just a... Uh, I hear they're one of the best employers ever. They are. Yeah. Great culture. Um, that's why I'm over here. We've been in the Pueblo and Colorado Springs market for about five, six years. Now we're making a big push up into Denver and just nice. trying to bring people great products and um, just a good culture. Wow, that's good. What's that? Wait, what's that sound? Dev, 
Oh. Danny Keith coming. Danny Keith. Ben Watch e out. How do people get a hold of you if they want to get a hold of you? Um, ben Words, our district sales manager here. Is there a Thanks website? Is there a yeah. email Benny address? Yeah, BennyKeith.com. Yep. You can find us there and right. learn more about him. Exactly. I know Little Rich from Rockalitas Tortillas, he's been telling me so much about Benny Keith. Yeah, but they're a good right. partner of ours. The excitement is brewing, so look out. There's. Yeah. Uh, We're here. We're ready. They're yeah. here. Right. See, you did a great job. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank I appreciate you. it. What's All right. next? Awesome. Thank you. That was easy. Nice. All right. There we go, guys. Hey, you Thank you. Uh, We're going to head over to Talco. Show this real quick. Look at this setup from Metalco. <laughs> We're going to go over there in just a minute, but stop. Not only Fork are they a Aaron partner Rogers. of the modern Russell. eater, they are just a first in class brand representing so many great manufacturers. And I want to bring Catherine over here. Catherine, hello. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. We're doing, we're having some fun, first of all. Always. Ready? Yep. Um, the theme of what we're doing right now, Catherine, okay. tell us about your business in 60 seconds, Elevation Reps. Okay. You got this. So what is Elevation Reps? Yep. We are the industry experts, be it hoods, walk-ins, ranges, tabletop, to help the restaurant get their needs and their wants and their desires filled at the right price point. Absolutely. So we have several different ranges, several different fryers, and we can fill those needs, which I think is awesome mm -hmm. because what happens is the end user comes to us, a dealer, a chef, they have an idea what they want, but they can't, they don't know how to execute it. Right. They know how to execute the food, yeah. but not the proper equipment. Yeah, and you need partners. Yes. People that care about your plight of your restaurant, right? right? You do huge build outs to small build outs. I mean, stadiums to the mom and pop restaurants. 100%. Yes. So that stone soup you always make. Absolutely. The stone you soup. You know how to do that. Yes, please. But well, first of all, that was. 60 seconds at its finest, but I have to tell you, when you need a partner, they are the manufacturer. Believe it. And when you get a hold of them, which how can you get a hold of Elevation Reps? You can call us. You can Our website is elevationfs.com. You can go to the Chef's Playground. We have a beautiful test kitchen. It's plug and play. You can come in and out and test our equipment. Turbo Chef is a wonderful brand. Um, we have Turbo Chef Thursdays every month. Yeah. Come bring your menu ideas and we'll show you how to cook on the Turbo Chef if that's what you want. Great partner of the Modern Eater. It's elevationfs.com. Elevation, it stands for fruit, food service reps. That's exactly what they are. And when you put the faces behind these guys, uh, this is Catherine, you know Rich, uh, other people involved. Give you an example of hap what happens at the Chef's Playground this Friday. Boom! There are Seattle fish right in the Chef's Playground, and you'll be doing what, Catherine? It's the fish of the month. The we're going to come, and for Cinco de Mayo, we're going to have a big event, yeah. and we're going to do fish tacos and ceviche, mm -hmm. and just have fun. Community. Yeah, it's all about community right. and giving back. So get uh, this, right? You want to go play in the Chef's Playground? Chefs, call to action. Get a hold of them at elevationfs.com. You can contact him right there. I'll bet you anything Catherine's got her email or phone number close by there. But reach out to them. They, they invite you and welcome you to the Chef's Playground. It's a great place to be. Thank yes, you. we just want to be your solution provider. Thank, Thank you, dear. You, you bet, darling. Have fun. All right, we are having fun. But we'll see who's going to do it. Mike's going to do it. The Larita brothers are the best. Okay, so there's Chris and Mike Larita. Mike's coming up. We haven't had Mike on the show in quite some time, but I want to tell you right Hi, now. Hi, Mike. Chris Sorry. Larita. Hi. Yeah. So, you know what we're doing? Hi, Greg. Hi, how are you? I'm good. No, I have no idea what you're doing. Uh, you're wearing the wrong tag. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's what I'm turning around. Yeah, we're trying to mess with people. Yeah. See, do you know who I need to hold this up? I, yeah. yeah. I know who this is. It's been a while since I've seen you. Italco's one, it's like the ship in the night, right? Just steady, Ste steady she goes, but the finest, top of the shop, best in class brands, Italco, here's what the theme is. This is easy, you got this nailed. Okay. Talk about your business, tell us about your business in 60 seconds. Can you do 60 it? 60 seconds, yep. I don't know. You can do um, it. Show, <laughs> while he's talking, Italco, show all this great stuff, Italco Alex. food products. Yeah. Uh, Colorado's premier specialty food distributor. Um, Absolutely. Great charcuterie, cheese. Uh, we carry about 500 different cheeses, about 400 uh, different charcuterie I think I'll have items. one right now. Uh, pastry, pasta, olive oil. Um, we were taught by our parents at a very young age, uh, buy nothing but the best. Don't buy uh, second quality product. Oh my God. And so we have, uh, we have grown the business and we made it through COVID and Yay. Here we are. They're expanding. Happy. It's and, awesome. Uh, we love what we do. My brother and I are very passionate about food. I was in the 
we grew up in, the, in a restaurant. I was eight and he was six when our parents bought the restaurant. Uh, restaurant, specialty food store, uh, to food distributor, and here we are. 38 oh. years, uh, Taco's been around for 38 years. 38 years. Yeah, and listen, I say skip the minute because I'll listen to this man talk all day about food because you know what I'd it like. is? It's the definite mm. chef's pantry, right? I mean, anything a chef would want, you walk through your warehouses and it's like, ooh, ah, oh, wow, what's this? It's, it's truly fascinating how you guys have sourced so many great products Thank over you. the years. Yep, and we do not, we don't do uh, your, your normal uh, broadliner stuff. We don't do disposables, we don't do meat, we don't do uh, fresh meat, we don't do fish, we don't do produce. Uh, it's a pantry. We just, yeah, we, we're, 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 a, we're not the center of the plate, we're everything around the center of the plate. I love it. Best of the best. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I mean, seriously, haven't talked to Mike in quite some time. Every time we catch up, it was just like yesterday. You're this is a great, great beacon of this community. Thanks again. Thank you. All right, we're going on. Where are we going to next, Dev? There he is. I'll give both of you a microphone. Yeah, let me just make sure it's not muted. There we go. Okay, cool. You guys, you want to talk about sustainability. You want to talk about something that has innovation. You want to talk about invention comes from necessity. This is what they dialed in right here. Okay, Mac and Austin. I'll tell you what, guys. I've been in love with your brand for quite some time. It's, I mean, I, honestly, I go, why hasn't this been done before? Come on up here, Alex, and show this, and we're gonna let you guys tag team it. Talk about your business in 60 seconds, and bring that mic real close to you. Yeah, so in 60 seconds. Uh, so this is Boss Frost. It's mimicking the USDA's approved running water method for thawing frozen food. However, it's eliminating the water waste by 98.5%. So the beauty of this is you can move this device um, away from the sink, it's portable. So it's a plug and play device and you can put it in a um, hotel pan, Lex and what have you, and move that thawing task away from the sink and also reduce your water waste. Um, it also helps restaurants save on their restaurant utility bill. Um, so that's no longer a cost that they really have to worry about. You want to talk about your you're business? You're only using five gallons you of water. Do you want to talk about your business? Cycle. Okay. And on average, uh, doing the running water method, you're using close to 600 gallons per day. So you can imagine how much that bill will rack up. But with this, you're saving that money and you're saving water as well. All right, Chef's Restaurant, you know just as well as I do. What do you do? You're in the prep sink. You've got the water trickling down on whatever the meat is for the day or, or anything that you need to have thought. I mean, this is innovation at its finest. What did you want to add, Austin? Oh, I just, yeah, it's a wonderful product. I definitely get behind it in the, uh, the cost savings. And then um, the water, the water savings on it alone is just, it's my favorite. Water, water is better than money right now. It's gold. I mean, you think of it, Colorado's in the drought right now. Many states are. This is doing your part in the community. Not only that, you're going to save yourself some bucks. How can people learn about Boss Defrost? Yeah, absolutely. So you can go onto our website at bossdefrost.com and uh, go on the FAQ page and you can learn more about it, kind of get in more in depth about what the product is and what it does. And uh, yeah, so bossdefrost.com. And those of you that have a Boss Defrost, do me a favor. Take a picture of it working. Tag them on Instagram. Show the boss to frost at work. Yeah, well, thank you, Greg. Thanks for stopping you by. Betcha, man. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Always. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, Repeater, this is what we're doing here today. I'm Greg with The Modern Eater. Sweet. That's Stephanie over there from Colorado Restaurant Association. We're walking around these fine businesses and we're giving an opportunity. Tell us about your business in 60 seconds. 60 Can you seconds? do it? Yeah, time me. Ready? Uh, you want to be time? Let's go. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> and go. Okay. So we are a reusable takeout container service. What we do is we partner with restaurants, stock them with reusable containers so that customers have the option to get their takeout and delivery in these instead of single use. And then we manage the process of collecting the containers back from the end customer. We sanitize them ourselves and we restock restaurants with completely fresh and clean ones. All at a price that's cheaper than single use and more eco-friendly than all types of single use. So no work for the restaurant and no waste in the process. And it's a circular economy, fighting plastic pollution and all, the, all that good stuff. I didn't even need the time that. I think that that was right on the dot there. Yeah. I have to tell you though, I kind of want one of these for my house. Is yeah. that available to the consumer yet? So we don't sell it to consumers directly. Our whole goal is to reuse the containers so that you know we're creating a closed loop so that 
we don't have to keep making new containers and none of them go to the landfill. So um, the customer returns them to us at our drop-off bins and then we're able to take them back to the customers, sanitize them and restock restaurants with them so that, um, yeah, no, nothing gets wasted and, you know. Keep fighting the good fight, Thanks. man. Yeah. That's awesome, Thanks love so it. Another great brand right here, Im Repeater. How can people get a hold of you? Uh, we're on social at eat.repeater on Instagram and our website is www.eatrepeater.com and info at eatrepeater.com will go straight to my inbox. That's cool. What a cool name, Repeater. It's just exactly what it is. You eat and repeat. Thank you, sir. All right, we're going to go down here to We Don't Waste. Here. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Don't be tired. All right. So I'm Greg with The Modern Eater Show. And we are just going around and we're talking to businesses and we're giving them 60 seconds to talk about their business. Are you up for it? All right, stand up. Yep, stand up. That's what this is all about, networking. Now, We Don't Waste, I've done a lot of work with We Don't Waste in the past. This is a great Colorado brand, but let's just start with the name. We Don't Waste, they don't like waste, right? Right, yes. Um... So we sort of serve as that middleman between wholesalers, uh, vendors, restaurants, uh, and our partner agencies. So food banks, food pantries, shelters, homes for women. Um, so we seek out food and redistribute to those who need it. Truly do. Let's give an example. Um, talk about one of your partnerships with like a large stadium here in town and you can't use all that food? We'll take it and where's it going to go? Talk about some of your partnerships. That's fabulous. So um, that's a great example. We uh, partner with Epicurean Catering. Uh, they cater the Bronco Stadium. Um, so we love to pick up uh, food uh, that is excess surplus uh, and we'll redistribute to um, our agencies who love pre-made food. That's one of our most highly requested sure food items is the pre-made food. I'll tell you what, I go to a game or something like that and I see it, it just seems like abundance of food everywhere, right? right? Food here, food there, everybody's got food, 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 right? Well, it, a lot of it's perishable. Yeah. It, it can't go home in the pockets of the employees, that's illegal, you can't, there's just no method of reutilizing this food. We don't waste, says yes there is. Right, right, it's very uh, implicit in the name. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Great job. Thank you so much. You're a wonderful job. <laughs> All right, check out themoderneater.com. We'll have this up shortly. Great. It was great yeah. meeting you. Good meeting you, too. Thank you so Talk much. to you soon. All right, another example. Did we lose Devony? We'll just keep going on without Devony. All right, let's go over here, down the line. We talked to the guys from Italco. So watch Artisan. This is an exciting Colorado company right here. Okay, this is what's fun. What chefs want, they're a distribution company, right? They have a lot of great brands as well. So Watch Artisan Foods is one of them. Let's see if we can sneak over here right now. And I don't know if I can hand her a microphone, but we'll see if we can. Her name's Jennifer Gomez. I'm gonna sneak in and see if I can do it. Oh, hey, hey. sneak attack, sneak attack. Okay, this is what's cool. As we're walking around all of these great businesses here, this is some, I said, you got, wait until you see this. So Jennifer Gomez, so Watch Your Artists and Foods. We're doing a segment called, tell us about your business in 60 seconds. Okay. I think you can, you can nail this. Sure. All right, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's give it a go. Get in on some of this stuff here, Alex. There's some great cheeses here. Tell us about your business. All right, awesome. Well, I'm Jennifer Gomez. I am the founder here at Sawatch Artisan Foods. We're based in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Our manufacturing facility is about four hours southeast of that one, right next to our dairy farmer partners. Really focus on sourcing the freshest local milk, and then we take that beautiful milk and we create some really awesome products. We have some amazing artisan cheeses. We do a beautiful Gouda, as well as some of the traditional cheeses, like just a great cheddar, fresh cheese curd as well as our signature batch churned European style butter. So again, our, our, you know, we do also a line of Hispanic cheeses as well. We make a beautiful queso fresco and cotija, and we're gonna be launching an entire Hispanic cheese brand soon. So really excited to continue to share everything that we're doing with the community and to continue to build these beautiful relationships. So yeah, just excited to share the love of good cheese with everyone. She, she nailed it, just like I said that she would. I'll tell you what, 
how can people get more information about Sawatch Artisan Foods? Yeah, absolutely. So you can find us online, sawatchartisanfoods.com. We also utilize some really great local distributors, so you can always check with your current distributor and see if they carry our products, because we would love to share them with you. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you're about to. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the best of the best. I, thank you so much. I love it. She Thanks rocks. You, and I'll tell you what, you. the Modern Eater will be going down and seeing some of the facility and some of their sourcing as well. When you talk about the best of the best, the top of the shop, Colorado brands, here it is, the Watch Artists and Food. Thank you. All right, let's move on. I always love catching up with Jennifer. Okay, as you can see, the aisles are just full and full of brands here. Um, I mean, it doesn't stop. We'd be here all day, Alex, if we were to um, kind of show off these brands. Here's a guy I'd like to talk to right here. He's never afraid of a microphone. Hey, hey how are you, hey, Greg? Hey, good. How are you? <laughs> this is like, you. <laughs> you talk about those coincidental, non-coincidental meetings. Yeah. Uh, no coincidence. I love this guy. His name's Zach Kreider. He is a representative of Colorado Mills. If you've watched The Modern Eater, you've heard about Colorado Mills a lot, but what we're doing right now, it's a segment called Tell Us About Your Brand in 60 Seconds. Are 60 you up for seconds. the challenge? Am I on the clock yet? You, no. You okay, tell okay, me when okay, you're ready. Me, Wait, stretch. Time. Do a little stretching. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Clear right. your throat. All right. You ready? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to hold the bottle up. And it's not just oil. Wait, wait until you hear what Zach has to say. All right, 60 seconds, Zach, go! All right, Colorado Mills, Lamar, Colorado, southeast corner of the state. What we do uh, and what we've been doing since 1999, we've been supporting over 120 farms to grow a crop for us. That crop, we then take and we crush. We get the oil out, we refine it, we package it, everything from a bottle all the way up to a railroad car, food service packages, it's healthy, it's heart healthy, it's diverse. You can get it super hot. You can turn around and make a dressing with it. A lot of snack food companies are buying it. Tortilla companies, bread companies, locally, nationally. So I guarantee you, you've had that product before and you may not have known it. So start reading your labels. And if it says sunflower oil, that possibly came from us. But what's cool, we're a zero waste company. So we take the leftover meal after we extract oil and we turn it into livestock feed. We support over 600 ranches locally in our region with that meal, We're producing healthier animals, high fat, high fiber, high protein. So I guarantee you, our footprint, you've been part of. You've stepped in it, you've tried our product in one way or another, mm -hmm. ate a tasty animal mm -hmm. that ate our feed, mm -hmm. ate some tortillas, some chips, some mm -hmm. bread, a burger at a restaurant, some chips off the grocery store shelf, possibly had Colorado Mills. Oh my God, this is in my kitchen. It might not be in yours, but it's in my kitchen. I'll tell you what, the burn rate on this is high, right? You're not gonna burn your food, it, and this allows food to taste like the food you want it to taste like, right? Right, right. Why would you want to taste oil when you could taste vegetables, <laughs> yes. spices, fruit, Agreed. potatoes? Yep. Your potatoes, your fries should taste like yep. potatoes, not soggy, greasy oil, right? Yes. So yeah, taste your food, not your oil. Yeah. I'm gonna keep you. You wanna go walk around a little bit? Yeah. Let's, let's go. Do it. All right. Let's do it. All we right. love talking about Colorado brands. This is my friend. His name is Zach Kreider and the best. Well, there's the so best. much in Colorado that a lot of people don't know. And Modern Eater getting out there telling the stories. We love to do it. Supporting us, supporting local. Okay. Is there a fan? We can't hit everybody. Where's the fan of yours? I know we wanna go see the other Zach. Um, Spice it, guy? Yeah. I anything? saw him. Let's go let's run. Let's go see Zach. Yeah, let's go see Zach. Another food distributor, U.S. Foods. And what's really cool about this show this year at the Colorado Restaurant Association, Colorado Restaurant and Bar Show, is uh, they showed up. All of them showed up. All of the distributors, the big ones, uh, showed up. And then the new ones, too, as well, with Benny Keith. And the distributors, you know, they pretty much all do a great job of, of wanting local, supporting local. True that. They're interested. They know there's a great market here for that. All right, here's what we want to do here. Let's first get Jared over here. So Jared Nowicki, this is a great brand, it's called Lakeland Local. And when you talk about local supporters, you know I love that, supporting local. I think that everybody working together makes just a really strong community. And my friend right here, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jared Nowicki, I'm owner of Lakeland Marketing. So we're a sales agency located right here in Denver. And what we have going on today is all of our local clients, these are all uh, food manufacturers that are based right here in Colorado. 
There are so many stories just right here. When you look at this wall of the passion that comes through these brands, and just, he, just like Jared said, he's a brand collector. He goes out, finds the best of the best, and represents them to the, the best of his ability, and you do a great job. Where should we start? You know what, let's go talk to uh, this gentleman right over here. Uh, Charlie, he's with uh, Tenderbelly, and Tenderbelly has a, a great story. On, uh, on what they've been doing with obviously their bacon. Okay, so hang on, just a little backstory here. I have a hat that I wear all the time, all the time. It's a flat brim hat, it's gray, it's got multi colors. I get so many compliments on it. It's a tender belly hat. I wear it all the time. And that is not a paid promotion right there at all. Bring that mic right up to you, introduce yourself, and I'll tell you why we're over here bugging you. All right, sounds good. Yeah, my name's Charlie Fox. I'm here with uh, Tender Belly Bacon out of Denver. Uh, it's nice to see everybody in person. It's good to be back and see all your smiling faces. Isn't um, it? It really is. Yeah, I feel like you can get so much more done in a short period of time talking to people face to face. The Modern Eater Show, we're all about community. We love to talk about brands and the passion of the brands. What we're doing as we walk around, tell us about your business in 60 seconds. Can you do it? I think so, yeah. I bet you can. Hit it, Charlie. All right, I mean, so the long story short, Tenderbelly's been around since 2010. Uh, two brothers from Iowa started the company. One of them was a chef. Went through the Cordon Bleu company, and uh, he came out, got his first internship, and basically said, hey, this bacon sucks. And uh, his grandfather had raised uh, hogs all of him and his brother's life, and kind of went and reverse engineered it and started bringing hogs back from Iowa, making it in his, uh, his garage in Boulder. Um, you know, and basically it's all heritage breed. Everything takes about twice as long. Uh, everything's hand rubbed and cherry wood smoked. Um, and just, you know, higher quality of meat. We've got a lot of time for the animals to run around. Um, they get a little better intermuscular marbling and comes out with some really, really tasty bacon and some other products that we do with pork. So. <laughs> 60 seconds right on the dot, I'll bet you anything. I, I'll tell you this, Charlie. So uh, here's when you know you built a cool brand, right? Restaurants are proud to put Tenderbelly on their menu. Wow, that is such a cool accomplishment. You've built up a, an awesome brand, but at the end of the day, it's got to have flavor and it's got to taste good and it's got to be quality. Well done. You rock. Yeah, good job, you. brother. Oh, I appreciate that. All right. All right. So next up right here. Next up right here. So we've got uh, Austin and Keith from Custom Corn Beef. Uh, these guys have been, uh, it's what, third generation? Third generation corn beef business. Yep. Uh, Keith and I's grandfather started it in 77, so we've been at it a while. All right, so talk about stories, right? Every good business has to begin with a story. They've got a great story. But I'll tell you, as we're ramping up to that time of year, I call it uh, Amateur Day, but it's uh, St. <laughs> Patrick's Day. That's very true. <laughs> and then St. Patrick's Day, as you get a little bit older, you know, you might be thinking of the beer and that kind of, I'm thinking about the food and what I'm getting on St. Patrick's Day, but all roads lead to right here. That's right. And talk about custom corned beef, 60 seconds. Where's another microphone? But if they want to tag team it, they can. We got to give them the ability here. All right, 60 seconds, gents, go. All right, thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, that's right. We are center stage this time of year. We look forward to this time every year. We know what's coming and we're proud of it. Um, we do kind of center of the plate corned beef this time of year, but Throughout the year, we're, we're pretty proud of the Rubens that we make with our corned beef. You oh know? my God. It's kind of a stigma that you only eat corned beef once a year at this time, and, and we'd kind of like to break that stigma a little bit. You know, we, we want a portion of corned beef throughout the years. So. Why corned beef? What got you into the business? Our grandfather started it in 77. Um, started it from Missouri, uh, just slinging out of the back of his pickup when you can get away with that kind yeah. of stuff back then. As well, you should. <laughs> get your brand going. Yep. Spread the word. Sure. And now look at you guys. What do you want to add? Yep. Play with your meat here while, yeah. you're, while you're talking. Gladly. It's not the first time I've heard that. At, I'm oh. sure it's not. But I mean, show us what we're looking at here and, and, and this This is quality. part of the point end, a little fattier side, but it's just, it's even hard to cut because it's so tender. It just falls oh apart. Oh my God. This is our oven roasted brisket. Um, this is probably our number one seller. Pretty close to our raw brisket over here. Some people like to cook it themselves, but um, we take pride in what we do and, and we cook it right. This was cooked for 13 hours. Um, we've gotten nothing but compliments out of it. So um, very popular item with us. Um, just let us do the hard work is what our customers say. <laughs> Keith, it cracks me up so much. You know it's so good where you don't offer anybody else any. You just have a, you just have a bite yourself. You're like, I know it's that good. There's a fence around here. <laughs> yeah. 
Fine. You guys rock. I love it. We're going to do something with you next week, I hope, on Thanks. Thursday. Um, I don't know what the date is. Get in touch with you, but we want to do more filming. It's that time of year. I think last year, this time, we were with Chris Fusile yep. down Blake at Blake Street Tavern, Street Tavern having fun, building sandwiches, and talking about community and, and everything that comes along with custom yep. beef. Yep. You guys rock. Thanks. Great to be Thanks. back. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You guys are so cool. All right, what do you think? It's pretty rad. You it know, is pretty what rad. What Jared's doing with Lakeland and his small group, but they are doing a lot of business, and it's cool to see them always out and about. Really cool company. Show us more. So actually, uh, right over here, this is uh, something that, that most uh, consumers... Can, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I didn't let these gents say how people can get a hold of them. How can people get a hold of you? Uh, email's the best way. If you have any questions, you can email info at customcornbeef.com. Or, or check out our website. We have all of our products available there. Check it out. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, if you want to go old school style, our phone number is 303-296-8686. Call them. I mean, all of our restaurant friends, Chef, if you, if you haven't reached out yet, you got to do that. Drop a couple of names of where people can go eat one of these sandwiches right oh, now. Shoot, there's quite a few places. Uh, what comes top of my head is Blake Street Tavern right now. Yeah. Um, go there. Let's just the stop Glen there. The Glen and Thornton. Where at? The Glen. Okay, the Glen and Thornton. Yep, they do a they do a real good job. Those are the two that stick out at the top of my head right now. Fantastic. So, Thanks, thank man. I wanted to make sure people could get sure. a hold of you. I apologize. So Hello. And because I am in sales, uh, what we do here too. So all of these brands are in just about every major distributor here in town. So uh, they're all available for sales tomorrow. Great point. And any one of these great brands that you see here right now, uh, I'll bet you anything they're on Lakeland Marketing's yep, website. We've got a, uh, a website, lakelandlocal.co. Uh, but I want to introduce you to my friend here, Tom. He's with Whole Fresh Foods. So it's probably a brand that people have not recognized because it's not a big retail brand. But these guys have also been, what, making great food for how many years now? We've been going on 20 years in the marketplace, Ooh. Jared. Uh, started off by uh, with John Zhao when he immigrated from China. Saw a need, and we're a specialty appetizer company. Take a, a look. couple items that we've got here that are great, time saver, and profit makers for the restaurants. Our tavern tapas. We have uh, f six flavors here right now. We've got our nacho beef, our jalapeno and cheese, pork and green chili, and the Nashville chicken, along with a spicy chicken. And then we have two new flavors here. We have a uh, an apple cinnamon and a vanilla cream. Again, oh great. Here's my card. I'd love to get a hold of you and do an extended interview. We talked about that, but this guy keeps telling me no. Don't talk to him. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Because I've known Greg a while. That's why. Yeah. So. No, we, we would for, love to do something with you. I guys. appreciate it. Thanks Great. again. Thanks. And again, how to get hold of these guys? Uh, I think that the easiest way uh, they've got a website. Yep. Wholefreshfoods.com, or you can do old school. You can give me a call. 720-232-9186. We'll help you get the product in. And as Jared said earlier, uh, we're in all major distributors here in the marketplace. Yeah, take them up on it. Uh, I think it'll be worth your while. You can do so many of these things, and they're going to save you some money in your restaurant, too. All right, what do you want to do next? Well, let's talk to uh, Kabucha. That is a new hot uh, beverage. Here's Rob. He's with more Kabucha. He is not only the uh, yep. owner, but the inventor. So OK, so let me do this setup here. I'm Greg with the Modern Eater Show. Yeah. I am a huge kombucha fan, right? Almost to where it's a habit. Like, you know, people pay for other habits that might not be like so how, good. how many a day? Well, see, I don't want to give that up because then I will start talking to you about, you know, sugar and okay, that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, let's not worry about that. Let's just worry about the good stuff about yeah, kombucha, right? Definitely. So many great attributes to kombucha, but I'm always searching for a new brand. I've never had your kombucha, full disclosure. I'm going to have your yeah. kombucha. Sounds great. What we're doing right now is we're walking around to these great businesses. You're a Colorado business, right? Yep. Great Colorado businesses giving you the opportunity to talk about your business in 60 seconds. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah, totally. All right, let's rock. Yeah, so we're more kombucha. We make a very flavorful kombucha. We focus more on the flavor that we put into the product and less on the vinegary fermented taste that you get from it. Um, so to kind of run through a lineup and what makes our product awesome, so we're gonna kind of run through these. Our hazy cactus is our flagship, our most popular prickly pear aloe lemon. We got a mojito flavor as well, lime and mint. 
pineapple peach, ginger grapefruit, and a salted cucumber. Again, all of our kombuchas focus on the the idea of more flavor, flavor more first. approachable, yeah. approachable, yeah. and you know, it is good for you, yeah. but it's not just a health drink. For it sure. is an everyday drinking um, beverage, and it's somewhere between a soda and a beer. I'll tell you what, so great point right there with the soda thing. You, you're trying to get off the soda, but you still love the bubblies, the carbonation. Man, kombucha is going to be the best thing for you to be able to do that. Not only is it going to still give you that satisfying carbonation feel, but natural carbonation, it's going to be something that um, you, you won't even notice your leading soda brands. And this is a great way to get yourself on a health kick there. And the, the, the probiotic values to it as well are fantastic. It promotes gut health. Yep, all, the, all the fun, less calories. All right, here's what I like to say. Prove it, let me taste that. Okay, okay. let's start you off with our hazy cactus. So, especially this hazy cactus, it's gonna be our most colorful as well. So, prickly pear, aloe, and lemon. Super awesome color. What? Um, just great flavor. <laughs> That's exactly the way you want it. Nice and cold, mm, good and refreshing. You can tell that those uh, probiotics are working in my belly right uh, now. Secondly, we got our mojito. Lime, mojito. mint. Okay, I know you're getting thirsty it's now. It's like a cocktail it. without the alcohol. That's really good. That's very well balanced. Thank you. And it's got a bit of a dryness to it as well. It may, if you were at a party or something like this, I would use this as a mocktail. You just walk around and be so, proud. So yeah, all of, our, all of our kombuchas mix great as cocktail mixers. So we actually have a recommendation chart of kind of like which which spirits that you pair these with. Um, so third, we're going to do our original flavor, our ginger grapefruit. Fresh ginger juice, fresh grapefruit. I love the ginger, right, on the top. Can't go wrong with mm. ginger. Whoa! Zing! I mean, wow. With the grapefruit, a little bit of tart, and then you have that ginger. I feel like I'm healing right now. You are. I can see again. Yeah. This is fantastic. Awesome. awesome. What do you got here? It's going to be our salted cucumber. We kind of call this like the spa drink. Did you like how he was swirling it around like it was a fine scotch? Oh, yeah. The uh, cucumber is off the hook. This is a great brand. I'll tell you what, I need to talk to you later about this. Definitely. Uh, to finish it off, we have our pineapple peach. Pineapple peach? This is going to be our summeriest, our juiciest of the kombucha line. You're right about that. Rock and roll, brother. Awesome. Man. You did a great job. Yeah. Rob, good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet we'll you. We'll be talking Thank to you, you so much. Congratulations, honestly. That's a great accomplishment. Cheers. And you're hooked up with one yeah. of the best of the best. Cool, thanks. Thanks. Wow, I feel like I'm yeah. walking on cloud nine. So it's... What's next? So, I mean, it's just great to see. You know, a lot of people don't realize all the great brands that, that Colorado has to offer. Yeah. So, you know, for our, uh, we have a uh, quinoa that's uh, available right here from Quinoa and Quinoa. Uh, Nusa, people don't know that Nusa yoga. You've probably seen that uh, in the grocery stores. I crush Nusa. Yeah. I um, love Nusa in the grocery store. So their dairy is located right outside of Fort Collins. Yeah. And all the dairy that, that goes into Nusa is uh, within, I think, 12 or 15 miles. Wonderful. Uh, of that. And then uh, lastly, uh, Titulia tea. It's an organic tea. Uh, located, it's based here in Denver, but uh, their tea farm is in Bangladesh. Not a paid Organic. endorsement here. I'm a user, I buy this. I buy this at the grocery store. This is something that I love. So as you were talking about kombucha, right? A property that, not kombucha, but tea. And a carbonated tea at that. And then they also have the other teas as well. But what a great brand. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, brother. So uh, if anybody's interested in any of these products, it's lakelandlocal.co, and we've got lots of information, and you can contact us there. So. My friend and yours, All right. Jared Nowicki. Thank, Thank you, brother. You, Greg. Great job. Right. Wonderful, as always, right? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to head on down this aisle here. I don't know where Alex went, but I was looking to talk to him. Maybe he's... So, Swick and Associates. 
Swicken Associates is my personal accountant, but I'll tell you what, in the restaurant and bar space, you have to have an accountant that works with you closely. They work with me, keeping my business on track. Alex is in here, like, probably texting Alex right now, like, where? Just ran to the car. Guess what you're gonna do? Oh, <laughs> it's all good. This is the way that we want to do this. Uh, this is really easy. All right, tell them your name. Hi, I'm Whitney. Hi, Whitney. I'm Greg with the Modern Eater. All right, so Swick and Associates, right, based out of the DTC. This is a business that is an advocate for your business, making sure that you're kept on track with your financial needs. If you don't know, and, and God bless you, you shouldn't, all the ins and outs of tax law, yeah. it gets pretty complicated. Uh, you yeah. guys are the experts. Here we Absolutely. go, this is easy. This is gonna be the quickest 60 seconds of your life. All right. Tell us about Swick & Associates in 60 seconds. All right, so Swick & Associates, we are a local tax accounting and payroll firm. We help your business from everything from A to Z, from bookkeeping, accounts payable, payroll, taxes, personal taxes even. Um, we're super local and we are specialized in the restaurant industry. So um, come join us and uh, visit us at swickco.com if you want to know more information. Now wait a minute, that was perfect. Yeah. You did that so good. And I would encourage you to look at more information from their website. They have so many streamlined methods to get your business connected and on the path of that profitability so you know where you're at. The resources that they have are vast. They are the pros. It is Swick & Associates. And you can also find them off a link on themoderneater.com. I encourage you to do that. Absolutely. Hey, you rocked it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. <laughs> See, that was a lot easier than said. Put, put microphones in people's face. They're like, oh my God, I'm going to melt down and die. You had it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Yeah. That's Swick & Associates. I mean, honestly, you got to keep up with your taxes and accounting and payroll services. It's Swick & Associates. All right, we've covered a lot of ground here today. I've got to thank Alex, who's been behind the camera today, keeping us on track. This is the Colorado Restaurant Association's Colorado Restaurant and Bar Show. It's an annual show. You haven't been able to be here. We're here to show you as well. I think that, um, gosh, I don't know. There's so much to cover, but that's going to do it for us. I encourage you to check out more of The Modern Eater. Like us on all of our social media. It is The Modern Eater. And honestly, reach out to us. We want to hear from you. So like this video, share this video, and keep going, Colorado. This is community at its finest. We love you. We'll talk to you soon down the road. The Modern Eater Show will continue. Thanks again.